What is up everybody? It is me Devil Never Cry and I am back today with a video that has been highly requested by you the viewers. A tutorial for Virgil's Judgment Cut system in DMC5 SE. As always make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with anything and everything Devil May Cry and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out when new content drops. So in this video I want to cover what exactly Virgil's Judgment Cut system is, how you can utilize it, and a few tips on essentially getting the most out of this system. The Judgment Cut mechanic was first introduced in DMC3, it was reintroduced in DMC4 where it was reiterated and reworked on, and it was seen again in DMC5. You actually saw Virgil use the mechanic against you in the boss fight against him, in both of the boss fights actually, uh, but you can actually utilize it for yourself in DMC5 SE as we can finally play as Virgil. In short, a Judgment Cut is when Virgil assumes the quick draw stance and sends out a flurry of slashes across time and space as a projectile. He literally cuts through the space between him and his opponent and teleports these slashes directly to where his opponent is. So now we know exactly what a judgment cut is, let's dive into how we can utilize it. In theory it pretty much works very similarly to Nero's exceed mechanic where it is dependent on timing and can be executed whenever you do a melee attack with Virgil as long as you're using the Yamato. By pressing and holding the melee button, you'll begin to see the Yamato crackle and charge up with power. Once you let go of the melee button, Virgil will assume the quick draw stance and let off a quick judgement cut. But as previously mentioned, because this mechanic is tied to the melee button, whenever you're attacking with the Yamato, you can let off a judgement cut. All you have to do is hold the button. If you want to let one off during the middle of a combo, just press and hold the button until the Yamato crackles with power and then let go. Things begin to get a little more interesting with this mechanic when you smarten up the timing of it. I'm of course referring to the just judgement cut or the perfect judgement cut as some people call it. If you press and hold the melee button and then let go at just the right moment, Virgil will let out a perfect judgement cut which not only does more damage but also has less recovery frames to it. As a basic example here, you can see I'm doing a standard judgement cut off of an aerial rave here with Virgil and when it hits it only does 100 points of damage. But with this same move, if I do the perfect judgement cut, I do 300 points of damage. Now in regards to the perfect judgement cut, the timing is different for literally every move that Virgil has, so the only way to get the timing down is to literally get into the void and just explore, mess around with Virgil's moveset and see if you can get the timing down. As mentioned, you can do a judgement cut off of any melee move with the Yamato and you can also do judgement cuts with some of Virgil's taunts. And of course, as if things could not get any more broken and overpowered with this move, Virgil can chain up to four of these perfect judgement cuts in a row. To repetitively chain these judgement cuts, you simply have to press, hold and then let go of the buttons with the right timing. As you can see here, I've got the, uh, the controller annotation here just up on the screen so you can see that I'm just pressing, holding and then letting go repetitively. Again, the timing can be tricky to find at first but once you get the rhythm down it comes quite easy. One key thing to note is that the first judgement cut in a chain doesn't have to be a perfect one, but the following do have to be perfect. So the first judgement cut doesn't require strict timing, but the later ones will if you attempt to chain them. Now one of the best features of this move is the fact that it automatically tracks. If you want to clear a room no damage, or if you want to go through the bloody palace as easily as possible, all you have to do is throw Virgil in a corner, turn the camera so no enemies are on screen and then let loose with as many judgement cuts as you want. Again, I've covered this in multiple videos but the reason that this works is because enemies don't attack unless they are on camera. So if you get them off camera and then start hitting them with moves that automatically track, of course you're going to have a major advantage in the battlefield. Just a tip for those of you that are struggling with DMD or the Bloody Palace. Another note I want to touch upon is that if you couple the Judgment Cut system with the Sin Devil Trigger 
and the doppelganger, you'll absolutely destroy whatever enemies you come across, no joke. For those of you that tuned into my Legendary Dark Knight playthrough, we absolutely destroyed bosses by simply just popping SDT and doppelganger at the same time and going to town with a bunch of just timed judgement cuts. The move is literally broken, literally overpowered, which seems to fit Virgil because he's broken in every game he's in, and I guess the mechanic does reward people who dive into the system and learn how to fight with good timing. And of course I should mention that if you play the game on turbo mode, the timings will be 20% faster. Just some food for thought if you're switching from standard to turbo and you're wondering why things just aren't meshing when it comes to getting these judgement cuts off. The timing will be faster, so you'll have to let go of that button slightly faster. And so that pretty much wraps up a basic tutorial or guide, I guess, for Virgil's Judgment Cut system. I tried to be as thorough as possible when it comes to just how I've used it, how other people have used it. And no doubt uh, in the coming months we'll probably find some other applications for the Judgment Cut system. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Is there anything I missed? Is there anything you want me to cover when it comes to DMC5 SE? And with all that said and done, I guess, if you want to catch me playing this live, uh, there'll be a link in the description to the Twitch page where I often go live and you can see me attempt to platinum this game. It has been me, Devil Never Cry. I would like to thank all of you for watching and as always, I'll see you all next video.